training for National Rural Water is very important. National Rural Water is known for its circuit riders, technical systems training, and this is also very important to many of our states in the, in the association. The uh, emergency response to disasters, and naturally the high profile ones are hurricanes, uh, but also could be flooding, fires out in the west, uh, ice storms, heavy snow, anything, and plus man-made. It doesn't have to be a mother nature creating these disasters. But this training teaches our circuit riders and staff in other states to go back home and know how to do an emergency response. You can drive a truck, you can back a trailer, you learn about uh, ground penetrating radar, you've got a vacuum truck that they can actually run, see, see it actually work. Uh, just all aspects of emergency response, what's needed when uh, a hurricane, tornado, or other disaster comes through. I think it's very important since uh, Katrina and Rita, we've done this every year in Louisiana. We've done it nationally in uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, Arkansas, and Florida. And we'll continue doing this. And in, in our state, it's important that our members know what to do during an emergency. Now nationwide, as you've seen across the country, there's been fires, floods, ice storms, um, hurricanes, tornadoes. Here in the South, we're always prepared for hurricanes. Although this training is to not talk about just hurricanes, it's to prepare that circuit rider, that state utility, to be prepared during a national disaster or man-made disaster. Well, for the most part in Florida, most of the places that we are called to are because of loss of power. So typically it's a wind type of event that blew over trees and trees brought down the power lines. And in some situations, they blow trees down and it pulls the root system up and lifts the water lines or the wastewater lines out of the ground. So you have breaks and stuff like that. That's most of Florida. For the coastal areas, sometimes you add in storm surge problem. So you come and you actually see, uh, you know, facilities that have been washed away, storm surged over. And of course, in those situations, the recovery is a lot slower then where all you're dealing with is a power loss. Typically with just the power loss, we can take a generator in and we can power up the water or the wastewater system with that generator on a short-term basis until they get the, the, the power lines restored and power back. On storm surge, a lot of times the response and recovery are much longer because they have to build the water plant or the wastewater plant back. Training before you need it. Unfortunately, all of these people here, their states have had emergencies. And all we're trying to do is make them more effective at going out and providing solutions. Um, the training at any time helps people be better at responding. And for Florida, we have more emergencies, let's say, than say Montana. So we deal with more situations. That's why we try to host it because we have more equipment and more experience with emergencies, widespread emergencies. Not something that I like. It'd be better to have less emergencies and less opportunities to deal with it, but it's really to familiarize people with the stuff we deal with.